All right, guys, um, this is the third in the series. I've decided to just plow through. I'm torturing um, my friend. But we are going to do jackets. And um, I just put on like the most basic outfit I could think of, which is like a pair of denim. And then this is a white top from Prem that says literal mess. I love this top, it's so cute. Um, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna do three different like sections of this before I kind of just focus on what was a yes and what was a no because I think I put most of my like wintry sort of like heavier knit stuff already in storage but I do have a couple things here I think that I can probably put in storage so we're gonna do a yes no and storage pile um but let's get into it because this I have a lot of, <laughs> I have a little jackets and this is not even my coat collection so yeah let's do it all right so this is the first one um, this is from the Bobby and it like is giving me like all of the like matrixy vibes. Mm -hmm. Is it waterproof? I believe it is. Yes. I keep it, keep it for now because it's raining right now. Yeah. Um, it's just, I will say I kind of wish I had gone down a size. I think it's a tad too big, but like, I don't hate that it's like a little oversized either. I think the shoulders are a nice fit. Yeah. I don't mind it. It's just like a little wide. And like with a trench, you can not button it and just do the belt and like, so like cinch really it in more. It. Yeah. Like that's also classic trench is you don't use the buttons and you just use the belt. Sort of like this. Yeah. Oh yeah. I guess that, I mean, it's kind of overlap a little bit, well, it's double but yeah, I really like this one. This is from Navabi. I don't think I mentioned that or maybe I did, but I really, really like this. I think this is my size 18, so I did go up a couple of sizes, but I generally do that with my jackets. I do like things to be a little bit bigger, but I really, I just it's such a fun, like, statement jacket. Mm -hmm. um, it's cool. Yeah, and I feel very matrixy in it. Yeah, you're gonna yeah, take off and, like, pew, fight go Mr. meet me. Go, yeah, go fight Mr. Smith. Um, yeah, I'm a fan of this one. So this, as with most of my wardrobe, is universal standard. Um, and it's lovely. I love this. It's like this beautiful, like, blazer coat. The belt, you can, like, cinch around, but I kind of like it back here. Um, it has some really nice pockets. It's very long. If you can kind of tell, it goes down to maybe, like, mid-calf. So, like, almost to the bottom of my hemline, because these pants are a little short on me. But, like... I love a blazer, so, and I feel like Universal just does really good blazers, and this fit is just mm -hmm. nice. It's a nice weight. That's like a nice transition. Like yeah. Spring, not too hot, not too warm. I had it in gray, and I actually gifted it to someone because I felt like the black is just like... It's so classic. Yeah, it's a little bit... Modern. I feel like it's a little more wearable, too, than a gray, but... Looks good with this too. Man, yeah, right? I need to like start wearing just like basics. Boo. It's not a pocket there. But yeah, definitely gonna keep this. All right, so this is like one of my favorite coats right now. This is by Marina Rinaldi and it's so good. They made it in another colorway, but I love this blue. I think it's so pretty. I have nothing like this. And the print is so fun. Um, I love the length. It's like basically like knee length on me. The hang is really good. It is a little oversized, but again, like I typically wear, like I always go up in my coats. Um, it looks really good with like a pair of jeans and like a t-shirt too. I think this is like sort of just like a really casual sort of vibe. I love having statement coats like this. I'm gonna try on one in a second that is like a nudie color and I feel like having a really good fitted nice coat just brings an entire outfit together like this outfit is very basic that I'm wearing but like you throw on top like like a, a beautiful well-made coat and it just kind of like elevates the whole thing throw a pair of sneakers on it doesn't really matter but like if you had a pair of white booties with this it'd be a look and it's really easy um I just I love I love like the giant cuff details just like oh, so good it's just like such a pretty coat so i don't think i've really shown this on here at all but um if you follow me on instagram you've seen it multiple times so 
it's a nice it. weight. It's yeah. A, it's a good weight for now too. Yeah, it's a good, I mean, I'm wearing, this is not going to storage. I feel like this is perfect for right now. I've definitely worn it a few times recently just because I feel like it's an easy, it's not super heavy. It's like really easy to throw on. Um, but yeah, so this is the one I was literally just talking about. It's a neutral color, but it's just a beautiful coat. Um, I love the hang of it. I love the shoulder details. I feel like it fits in a really like androgynous sort of way. Like it kind of looks like I'm wearing like my boyfriend or my, well, maybe not boyfriend, maybe like grandfather's coat. Um, like I've had it forever. Like if you literally just look from here up, it just has this like sort of boxy, like androgynous vibe. I love it. It's from Bacal, um, Bacal um, Official. And I really love her pieces. I think they're beautiful. I will say that um, I'm having some issues with the buttons. I do need to get them like reinforced. They're kind of like falling off a little bit, which is unfortunate. I mean, I do wear it constantly. And like, this has been like, I wore the crap out of this coat. I've worn it multiple times, um, more than multiple times. I literally like flew to the Bahamas in this. Like it's got a lot of traction in my wardrobe. Um, and I do need to get it cleaned. And this color is not great for me because I'm always outside and this bottom area definitely got pretty dirty, I think, for me rolling around on the ground. Um, but also like I'm more active than most people in terms of like what I do outside. So I think like I tend to be a little harder on my clothes. So I can't speak to the overall quality of her jackets normally in terms of like what like a normal human being would do. But um, I do think that I will 100% just get this like dry cleaned and um, reinforced the buttons. It's a little heavier than I probably would wear right now. Yeah. But I also feel like I kind of want to get it like dry cleaned and... Oh yeah, clean before storage. Clean before sure. storage, yeah. But it's a nice example of like in a city like New York, where it does get so yeah. cold, it's important to have a variety of coats because you wear your coat and that's all people see yeah. is what's on the outside. Yeah, and totally. Like I was just saying too, is like the other outfit before, like that, this is a pretty bare bones outfit. I'm wearing a pair of denim and a shirt. And like, if I was wearing a boring jacket, it wouldn't matter. Like if I was just wearing like a Parker, a Parker, Parker, yeah, parka. Okay. If I was wearing a parka, okay. it wouldn't be as cute. But like, you throw on an interesting coat, and it immediately elevates this. Like, I think if you saw me walking down the street, and you'd be like, "Oh, she looks like she's like chic and put together." But like, if I'm wearing like something very like, you know, boring, I think it just sort of, you know, it just like elevates the whole look. So, and I love the shoulders. Like, I think that the shoulder is like really. Like, I like how wide they are. It, like It's good because it's like, if you're gonna have an oversized coat, having yeah, a strong shoulder totally. gives a lot more structure to it. And you don't look like it's just oversized and slouchy, like you are literally wearing your grandpa's jacket yeah. that's too big. Like this looks like a purposeful oversized. And I did size up as well when I ordered this from her. This is gifted, by the way. I feel like I haven't really mentioned that in the previous videos, but a lot of what I get is gifted as kind of what comes with the territory. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love it. It is a little expensive, so something to think about, but I think that like once I get these reinforced and I get it dry clean, but I think also, again, you're dealing with the elements and outside all the time. Like you're not going to be rolling around on the ground like I am, so you don't really have to deal with that. But it is a light colored coat, so like that is something to take into account. I just loved it so much, I couldn't take it off. So okay, moving on to another blazer coat from Universal Standard. How many do I need? This is why I got rid of the other one, by the way. I got this one and I was like, I don't need two gray blazer coats because this is one it's completely different than the other one, in my opinion. It's also very, very long, which is like. I don't have long like jackets usually. I have a really long jacket I'm about to show you that I'm obsessed with, but this one's quite long. I love that it's a like blazer coat. Um, it is also double breasted, which I just learned from um, Laurel off camera that you're supposed to be snapping the inside button so it helps with the pressure on the outside button, which I didn't realize I'm really smart. So <laughs> we're here to learn. We're here to learn. That was probably why she said the other one was having issues with the buttons. Um, I do think it feels a little tight, 
with this button, but I think I would mostly just wear it open anyway. Yeah. Um, I'm obsessed with this coat. I think it's beautiful. It's cool. It's cool menswear. Yeah, and I have the matching um, pant set mm. from it. It's like a whole look. It's very good on. So really, really, really love this. Like they just do it so well. Um, I love like the button details here. Like I think it fits really well through the shoulders. It's just, just nice you know it's just nice welcome to the leopard coat that i've been looking for for literally ages it is i don't forget what oh it's a it's a mac um it's great every time i wear this everyone's like oh my god where did you get that where is that from and it's literally asos it was like 140 dollars. it's so good if you guys are looking for a really really long coat and you have a hard time finding one this is from the tall section from asos it's in a size 14 it fits perfectly i i love it um it's a little on the oversized side so i feel like you know if you, i had uh, my friend kelly wore it during fashion week to an event i loaned it to her and mm -hmm. like tie it don't buckle tie it don't you buckle. never never buckle a trench Always it's a little tie. it's a little short for that but. well it's like not made to yeah um, that's the one thing. I do feel like I wanted to tie it before, but I feel like it's a little short. Mm. But, um, I love it. I love these, like, weird details here from the MAC design. I like this, like, carpet bag. Yeah. It's just, it's so heavy. Like, it's so warm. It's definitely probably more of something that should go into storage. Because it's, like, I think it's too heavy now. Um, so I should probably retire it until next season, but I honestly like didn't want to let it go last time because I just love it. But it's like literally like maybe like three inches from the ground. That's it's good. so long, um, which I love because I always wanted that. I just like the drama of a super long coat and I've been looking for leopard for a while. You guys know that I did like the testing fur basics and I just love the leopard fur. I just love this. I think it's like very classic, sort of like minimal, chic, uh, a little more elevated than I think like a faux fur. Well, it's cool to see like a very traditional trench coat in a very like unexpected fabric. Totally. Which is nice. Yeah. And I feel like this looks, I don't know, something about this leopard just feels more updated, I guess. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't know. I I'm, I love this jacket. There's like not really much more I can say to it. I just feel like if they bring it back, like you guys should definitely. And it like pops and like you can do this to it. Mm -hmm. It's just like really cute. I love it. Oh. Also good pockets. Can you open it up? Oh yeah. And turn, come here and turn around. Okay. So you can, this is like the classic trench move too. I think you that tie the belt I honest, in the back. I think the belt. And just wear it open. I think the belt is too like short for this. Gives you more like that. And then you can just wear it open and then, because it's like when it's double breasted, it can get like too much fabric. Yeah. And if you tie the belt in the back, it like just kind of pulls it away some. I think it's okay. I, I mean, honestly, my one complaint about this is I think the belt is too short. I think it is. that I wanted it to be like a long, sort of like really play with it. Yeah. Um, but you could switch it for a black belt also. That's true. You can pull a black belt off another coat. Whatever. Yeah. Or yeah. like a red belt if you're crazy. Not against it. Mm. It's just that, I mean, if they bring this back, buy it because it's great. And also just keep it like, I don't know, ASOS does like some numbers like this that I'm like always shocked when I see them because I don't know how good they, there's, you guys are gonna see, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna move into Moto's next. I'm gonna start with like one of my like, a most treasured piece I think I've gotten from ASOS and you guys will see what I mean. So let's move into that. So favorite jacket ever. I get so many comments on this. This is a similar situation as that leopard. Um, where like people are like, oh my god, where is that from? And then when I tell them they're always shocked. This is from ASOS um, It's like the best leather quality I've seen from them. It's heavy. I love the cut of it It's very long. I feel like it fits amazing. I've had it for Since February of Last year last year. I've had it over a year um, Laurel was with me, so she's 
keeping me in check. Uh, I love this jacket. It's great, it has all the pockets you need. I keep my like Metro card in here. You can literally zip it up because I tend to forget and then it falls out. Um, there's zippers here. It's like the perfect oversize. This is a 14. This is from the straight size section. And like, I typically feel like I can always venture into the straight size with their jackets. They always run over, but I did a testing basics. I want to say a few months beforehand and like this wins hands down. If they come back with it, um, you should buy it. I'm gonna see if I can link to it because I feel like I still saw it on the site, but I love it. They do, ASOS does a good leather jacket. I think you kind of just have to like really play and experiment. The other leather jackets, I have a couple here from also ASOS and they are from my Testing Basics series. I still have them, but this one's definitely like, I mean, I've been, <laughs> you've been here like a week now. How many times have you seen me wear this jacket? Like almost every day. Yeah. Yeah. Like your wallet was in it just now. Yeah, I had to take my wallet out. <laughs> so like it wasn't in here and there was like a lens cloth and like there's my Metro card still. Like I wear this every day. I just, I think it's really, it's a great jacket. I love that it's really long and it's not cropped. I always think I used to gravitate towards really cropped jackets, but I actually like the length of this one. Um, but anyway, let's move on. So moving on into the not leather jackets like specifically before i dig into the other ones um this one is from marina rinaldi and i'm i have mixed feelings about this and it's it's, it's too loud yeah i wanted to love it i also think the fit's not quite right i definitely should have gone up a size it's too snug in the shoulders um it doesn't it also like doesn't like want to lay down like maybe it's just because it like I have never worn it so it's like brand new and just like has a lot of things happening. I think this could be really cute on someone. Like someone could rock the shit out of this jacket. For sure. But like I feel like for me I just like never want to wear it and it just feels. It's a nice cut with like the princess seam yeah. and like the seaming on like the Like it's back really yoke. beautiful. Like that panel is really a nice yeah. fit but it's not a nice fit on you. It's not, it's just not no. right. Yeah I did a shoot with it. And I put it on a model and it looked great on her. But then when I put it on, I think I just too wide up here, to be honest. Like she was more it's narrow. Like size too small for you yeah. or something. Like I definitely needed a 16, um, which is unfortunate because it's kind of a fun jacket. But I think this is definitely a go. So if you guys are interested in a, <laughs> a beautiful but very out there um, silver jacket, check out my... Uh, account that I list below. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, wait, hi. Um, all right, so this is from the Iloqui Purcello Ono collection, and I'm putting it in here because it is a moto jacket. Um, definitely not something I have in my collection, otherwise. That's not something anyone has in their collection, because this is like the first of a kind. Yeah, it's fun like it's, it's cool it's cool like i'm not getting rid of this i think it's like like the sides are like sheer um it has sort of like a drop shoulder but like a drop shoulder with like a detail seam um it has like a cool. place for your lipstick in here actually functional seam. yeah um my only complaint which i did mention in the video is like i don't love when jackets like i feel like i would rather i don't know because this doesn't like this just falls out like it needs to be tacked down. Yeah, somewhere. so like I feel like that's like my only complaint. I mean, I might even like, I don't want to take it out though. I feel like it adds no, something. But like, the tailor tack it down. Yeah. So you but just don't lose it. Yeah. But it's such a fun jacket. Like, I don't know. I wore this also when I did the panel at Beauty Con, so I have a little memories. Um, but it's just, it's just a fun piece. I think I'm definitely keeping it, but that yeah. does annoy me. You can pop like, it over like anything. Yeah, like it looks cute over this. It's like, any dress, anything. Yeah. Just like a cool pop of color. Yeah, the totally. The shooter is super interesting. The detailing is very nice. Yeah, they did a good job and with like it. The monochrome yeah. with the zipper and the buttons and everything is cool. Yeah, and, I, and in case you guys are interested, I still think this is on the site. So this is a size 14, just for size reference, which I typically am like a 14 in their tops um, because I do run like a little smaller. So this was also Illiqui. Um, it's like a white leather jacket. 
I don't know how I feel about this one. The fit's nice. Now that I'm looking at it in the mirror, I like it. The fit's nice, but like, are you really a, a white vegan leather kind of girl? Or would you grab for a different one instead? I mean, I definitely tend to, but I think it's because I feel like the, it looks white. It looks very pleather to me. Mm. But what do you think? Maybe because it's like, it's new still. It hasn't like softened yeah. from like wearing it. Because I do like think it, they do a good moto jacket. Like you'll see that red one. Oh no, that's not the Halo Queen. But they do a good moto. And like my friend Charlotte, I think you met Charlotte? Yeah, she wears this all the time and she looks fucking bomb in it. So right. I'm like, I think I just need to break it. Maybe this is more of like a spring piece that I just haven't gotten out yet. And like over a black tank top. Yeah. Because it's weird, like with the white on white. Yeah. It's like, I feel like I'm. Or like over a dress or something. Yeah. But also, I, like, it's, it's also loud with that buckle. I know. It's always the, the and I mean, like, physically loud, not like. Yeah, it's earlier loud. I was like, I thought she meant the silver was, like, just loud to her eyeballs, but she said that no. she meant physically loud. I'm sensitive. I don't like things that jingle too much. Is this removable? No, this is, again, similar to the other one where it's kind of, like, attached. It doesn't really bother me. I would really tuck it into the tiny pocket but, or, like, put a piece of tape on it, something simple. Tiny pocket is not actually functional, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's okay. Yeah, I'm not sold, but I'm not. I'm not like immediate no. The pockets are are all the pockets non-functional. Like those are like for looks. You could put like that's a thing. That you put like a chapstick. You can't put your hands in there though. You're not gonna like keep your hands warm. No, they're not hand pockets. I have very high standards for coats. Yeah. I'm very particular. This is definitely like a fashion moto. Yeah. Same with that. But that yeah. had like actual functional pockets. Uh, I mean, I, I will say that like, I feel like I have high standards in terms of like the moto jackets I tend to. Like you guys will see, I feel like you probably already know, but most of the ones I have are actually leather. I'm not vegan. I'm definitely like more gravitate towards like actual leather it just feels a little like and you can wear it not longer great like yeah it's, it's much more durable yeah it doesn't i feel like i would like a white jacket but i don't know if i would like a white pleather jacket and maybe this is like you guys can come for me in the comments if you think that like leather is evil but i just think it lasts longer maybe i need to like look into finding like a vintage piece that's why, what were you gonna say? Well, it's like also like, is it, is it gonna stay clean? Yeah. And like, how is cleaning pleather, pleather. slash vegan leather, whatever that yeah. means, versus cleaning actual leather? Because especially for a jacket, like it's gonna get a lot of wear and tear. And if it looks, you know, like a little worn in is nice, but if it's like filthy. Yeah, this is gonna look it's gross. It's gonna be, it's just gross. Yeah. So it's, I, I think I, I think this is gonna be a go. I think, I think it so. could make someone else a lot happier. Yeah, because I feel like, fucking like I said, Charlotte like looks amazing in it, but she like does. I just feel like I'm not immediately saying yes. Yeah. Um, the next piece is from Rebel Wilson, and we have about three moto jackets left. Yeah, um, it's not a problem. This one I love. is great. I love the color. I love that it's suede. This is real suede. It has functional pockets. Um, now that I have it on, I think I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. I keep saying that. <laughs> um, it feels amazing. I just feel like I have high standards for like what I wear in terms of motor jackets because I want it to have a good hang. And this just like, they did good when they did this jacket. Like people saw me post about this and were like, I caught so many DMs of people from friends being like, I need that jacket, can I just buy it from you? <laughs> because like, it's so hard to find. Like, I think it was like, I think I got it from Dia and Co. And then they were like, no longer like really making them, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but it's just beautiful. The color is amazing. You guys know I love red. It just looks great with like this red and white um, situation. I'm sort of uh, patriotic, but not really. <laughs> Um, it's got nice details. It's yeah, there's like, a lot it's of like, like minimal but chunky. Yeah, there's like a lot of just like the bigger zippers on the arms. Yeah, and like this and that turn. 
It's got the double buckle yeah. on the back instead of a belt, which is kind of nice. I love that actually, because I don't love, as we've noticed, I don't like dealing with straps and buckles. I think it just like tends to be kind of annoying. Um, this is definitely a keep. I just love this jacket and I need to wear it more. Mm -hmm. um, just mm -hmm. feels really nice. So I don't love a lot of what Rebel does, but this is very, very nice. So if you guys watched my testing basics, this I think may have been the winner or next to the winner. This has a like movable belt so you can like move it around. Um, it's nice and jingly, just how Laura likes them. Also it's fringy, yeah. which turn is shimmy. Just, she just wants me to move. Oh, it looks fun on camera. It does. Um, it is a little snug. I haven't worn it a ton, but like I had my friend Megan come over and she saw this jacket. She's like, you cannot get rid of that jacket. You are going to love that jacket at some point. And I feel like she's right. Mm -hmm. Like, I just can't get rid of this. I haven't worn a bunch. It does look great with just like a white t-shirt under it. Yeah, this is a great outfit. Yeah, like, and like turn all the way around like the having the fringe go all the way across the back yeah. and follow the yoke is nice it's just a really lovely jacket this was in the asos testing basics like i said i think it won or was like placed pretty high the only thing is it's a little snug through the arms now because i have gained a little weight since then but i think like i literally haven't really worn it and like as you know leather stretches um that other jacket was definitely like fit a tad tighter when I first got it. So they do stretch and the leather's nice quality, like for what it is, like ASOS is pretty cheap. I feel like this is maybe $200, um, but like, it's just fun. Mm -hmm. like, I can't get rid of it. I don't know. <laughs> just, I gotta stop or this is gonna be a lot of like ASMR, just like, is that okay? Do you guys, should I come closer? Yeah. All right, I'm done. This is also one that was in the testing basics. This is very like retro 80s, like cropped. It's like oversized and cropped at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Um, I dig this one. It's definitely like way different than anything I have. Laurel's making a very weird face. The sleeves are so long. I wish the sleeves were a little shorter. I like, I like the body. Yeah. But the sleeves are just a little too, like, I don't want them to be in the way. Do we like it like? I like it kind of like that. It will stay like that. I mean, you could probably do the sneak. Do you know the sneak? What's the sneak? So the sneak, a uh, Silas trick, is putting a hairband oh. around your arm and then folding the material over. Is so that it keeps like it gonna be a tourniquet or is that like it for every day on, it depends on how like the hairband is. tight the hairband is but like i like it like that that looks cool i mean i, I honestly like I, I don't know i feel like this is like a fun styling piece and like i think like for me um i don't really mind the length i mean i do I like agree i, I like do think them. they are pretty long but like the other jacket is also long yeah so I like, like I, mean, I think i just have to figure out how to get these to stay. Mm -hmm. That would be another like tailor yeah. thing. Cause like, I, I like do, it. like I like it like that. Yeah, I like totally. it like that. And I like the zippers. Uh, the this one is attached. Like diagonal zippers. Yeah, have, they're kind of the interesting. And you have is cool. like this is what she's talking about. Is that a pocket or is that a fake? It's fake, I believe. Yeah, it's fake. That's okay. But. It's a fun job. I'm going to keep it. I mean, I know that I just have to figure out a, the styling trick and like maybe get a really big hairband or something um, or cool make like a dresses. Yeah, it's I mean, I feel like having a good cropped leather jacket is important to me anyway, um, but it feels pretty nice. It's not as nice quality leather as the other ones. This is not this didn't do as well in the testing basics. Um, if you guys want me to do that. Let me know what like item you might want me to test. Comment below and let me know because I do like doing those and I think they're really fun. Um, and now I have more space to film them. So, all right, moving on to uh, denim jackets. 
Hey guys, it's me. I decided to cut this video into two parts. It ended up being almost an hour and I figured no one would really want to watch that. So if you guys are interested in watching the second part, please do. I will be uploading it on the exact same day. So you can go check out my channel and it'll be there waiting for you. If you guys want to see more um, from this series, definitely let me know. Comment below and let me know um, what you would like to see next. It's a game denim. I have pants, tops, shoes, you name it, let me know. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.